there's a scene in Jurassic Park which is essentially paleontologist Jack Horner and Steven Spielberg fighting about whether feathered dinosaurs are scary. It's when the kid is like, that doesn't look very scary. We're like a six foot turkey. The thing is, Jack Horner was right. Hold on to your butts. Pink dinosaurs are coming. Hey there, dinosaur fans. Trace here. Thank you for watching D News today. Visualizing dinosaurs is a collective dream for humanity. We've been trying to make them come alive in our imaginations since we first assembled their bones into massive skeletons in the mid 19th century. The new Jurassic World movie sent me to the Los Angeles Natural History Museum to chat with paleontologist Jack Horner, the technical advisor on all the Jurassic movies, to find out just how we know what these ancient, long fossilized dinosaurs looked like. We don't really know the colors of dinosaurs, but dinosaurs evolved as, as diurnal creatures, and you know they're related to other reptiles as well as birds, and you know most lizards and and birds are very colorful. We may only have one three-dimensional example of actual dinosaur skin and some other examples of fossilized dinosaur skin impressions, but inside of dinosaur skin, we know it's just like the inside of our own. There are melanosomes, the pigmentation cells that contain melanin that give our skin color. A 2008 Nature study confirmed dinosaurs had these cells in their skin and a fuzz that grew out of their skin, which was the precursor to feathers. Scientists know feathers evolved around 150 million years ago, and according to that 2008 study, may have been iridescent or glossy. And they were also on the backs, on the heads, and on the extremities for display on a variety of different dinosaurs. A 2010 report on the fossilized feathers of dinosaurs found eumelanin and pheomelanin, which would have shown as black, gray, orange, and reddish brown colors. There were stripes and patches. It would have been really quite something. From my point of view, I think dinosaurs could be any color birds are, and that includes pink, <laughs> which is not a popular dinosaur color, I can tell you. <laughs> and I wanted them to be a little feathery, and I wanted them to be more colorful, but Stephen made a good point that technicolor feathered dinosaurs are not as scary. Scientists think feathers evolved for mating, insulation, or maybe for both. The reason most dinosaur experts today believe that the color of those feathers matter is because birds, the modern day ancestors of dinosaurs, can see in color. So likely dinosaurs could too. But when you start looking at the similarities, there's more similarities between a robin and a T-Rex than there is between a robin and any other kind of animal hmm. other than dinosaurs. Right. So dinosaurs are birds. Birds are dinosaurs, and funnily enough, when they were first piecing together dinosaurs, there were a ton of fails, because early scientists were just assuming they were big lizards. For years, renderings have shown dinosaurs in greens and blacks, but new research in the last decade revealed them to be multicolored, feathered, avian ancestors. Of course, with genetic modification being such a huge part of this new movie, no spoilers, the digital artists can really go all out using the whole color wheel. In the end, there's an ongoing debate about the look and color of dinosaurs. We aren't 100% sure, but one thing is clear. If Jurassic is ever rebooted, you would definitely see feathers on those bad girls. What color do you think dinosaurs were, though? Did you see Jurassic World? What'd you think? Make sure you subscribe for more D News, and while you're clicking around, click that first link down in the description and nominate us for a Streamy Award in science education. We're out here every day making science for you, and I'd love to spread the science to even more people. Let's win this thing. Thanks for watching D News, everybody. Love you guys. See you later.